Lala Anthony and Carmelo Anthony were quite the power couple for over a decade, and their star-studded wedding with guests like Justin Timberlake, Kim Kardashian, and LeBron James even earned them a five-episode special on VH1. Despite unofficially splitting in 2019, the on-and-off-again couple still decided to quarantine together in Los Angeles alongside their son. Lala and Carmelo have also owned a handful of luxury properties over the years, including a mansion in Colorado, their LA home, and four Manhattan apartments. We'll take a look at a few of their properties, past and present. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lala Anthony, formerly Lala Vasquez, is a TV personality, famous host, author, businesswoman, actress, and more, who came to prominence as an MTV BJ back in the early 2000s. She hosted popular reality reunion shows as well, like The Flavor of Love, I Love New York, and more. Right now, we're about to premiere a new drink from Nas. It's called The Thief Steam. It's the direct effect premiere. Let's check it out right now. Lala ventured into acting with roles in films such as You Got Served and Think Like a Man franchise, and now she stars in the TV drama series Power. She and Carmelo Anthony married in 2010, which led to a couple of reality TV shows for the couple at the time. Carmelo is a professional basketball player for the NBA, currently with the Portland Trailblazers. He's been named an NBA All-Star 10 times, formerly playing with teams like the Denver Nuggets and the New York Knicks. While Lala and Carmelo were a strong couple for a long time, numerous cheating rumors caused a strain on their marriage. For the past few years, the pair has been on and off and reportedly trying to get an official divorce. Despite this, in an interview with Access Hollywood, Lala revealed last year that she and Carmelo were quarantining together in LA with their 13-year-old son, Kyan. With Carmelo's hefty NBA salary and Lala's Hollywood career, the two have quite the net worth, estimated to be between $160 to $190 million. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out a few of Lala and Carmelo Anthony's properties, and while the couple may be estranged, they've lived in some beautiful homes. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered what David Dobrik spent on his Iron Man suit or about Conor McGregor's million dollar watches? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be one of the first to subscribe. You don't want to miss this. But that's not even the only watch McGregor picked up during his recent shopping spree. He also bought another timepiece from Jacobs & Co, this time in a more X-rated flavor. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Considering Carmelo used to famously play for the Denver Nuggets, you know he had to own a mansion in Colorado. Melo bought the house for $12 million back in 2007 before he was married, but the couple did live here for a few years. Sadly, when it came time to unload this epic property, it was at a loss of $5.8 million, sitting on the market for a year, and finally sold for only $6.2 million. Located in Littleton, Colorado in a posh neighborhood, the couple's former property was described as an award-winning luxury estate on 5.74 acres of land. The main home spanned an insane 21,000 square feet with opulent features as soon as you walk in, like the double height entryway with columns and spiraling stairs. There were a handful of spaces to lounge from the living room with floor to ceiling windows and fireplace to the cozy family room with bar. There was even a combination great room of sorts with soaring ceilings, a TV, a fireplace, another bar, and casual eating area. The formal dining room had massive windows and marble floors like much of the home and was adorned with a photo of the couple at one point. The lavish setting extends to the upper level of the mansion where Lala and Carmelo used to enjoy a master suite fitted with a zebra rug and red accents. There was a large sitting room off of the bedroom with the same design, as well as a huge closet with red carpeting and an over-the-top ensuite bath as well. Here, there were red ceilings, more red accents, and everything from a glass shower to a jacuzzi tub. Other mansion-like features of Lala and Melo's former property included everything from a wine cellar, gym, a poker room, to a movie theater, and much more. Even outside, there was a completely separate guest residence that acted as another home in itself. Of course, no property of this standard is complete without an amazing pool, spa, and fountains. After moving on from that palace, as I would call it, Lala and Carmelo set their sights on Manhattan. Carmelo signed a $65 million deal with the New York Knicks, 
and it was reported at one point they were renting not one, but four fancy Upper West Side apartments for themselves, relatives, and even some assistants. However, they apparently settled on a lavish penthouse to live in, so let's check out that one. Just last year, since Carmelo was saying goodbye to the Knicks, he was trying to let go of the massive full floor condo in the Chelsea Arts District of Manhattan for around $12 million. The 10 story building was designed by famed architect Kerry Tamarkin and overlooks the High Line rail train. There are only 15 units here in total, while amenities include an attended lobby, fitness center, and 1,300 square foot courtyard. He and Lala bought the place for $11 million in 2015, right after the building was completed. At 4,556 square feet, their apartment was the largest in the whole place and reachable via private elevator. The 5 bed, 4 bath condo also boasted 10 foot ceilings and white oak floors. That private elevator opens to the home which takes up the entire 5th floor right into a wide entry foyer and a loft like space. The 19 foot open kitchen was handcrafted with details like brass hardware, marble counters and walnut cabinets. The quiet living quarters are kept separate from expansive living rooms and the formal dining space. Off of the bedroom wing there's a spacious family room and one of the bedrooms had been turned into a media room with full glass wall of wine storage. The master bedroom is more of a total suite including more than one private dressing room and a luxurious spa style bath. One of those walk-in closets is a whopping 250 square feet, the size of some studio apartments no less. I'm sure Lala and Carmelo enjoyed this spot just fine while living here, considering the prime location. It's surrounded by Manhattan's best restaurants and some of the most desirable shopping of New York City. While Carmelo may have unloaded that lavish penthouse, Lala still seems to have a Manhattan apartment of her own where she lives with her son. It's Lala Anthony and I'm excited to show you my New York apartment. So come on in. In 2019, the power actress opened up her doors for People magazine and they share an airy and sophisticated apartment in the city. In the light-filled living room office area, there are some of Lala's trophies and awards, as well as mementos like letters from Michelle Obama, who's her mentor and friend. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom space was spruced up with help from a decorator, but Lala wanted it to boast a young and modern vibe while still being comfortable. She said, I'm not about living in a museum and not being able to touch things. I care more about it being a family home than an elegant home. I want my son to have fun here. And I guess that he does because they even have a basketball hoop set up in the living room for him. She also has a lovely sectional couch here, perfect for hanging out, and a dining room area nearby. In Lala's 2300 square foot loft, her favorite spaces are her serene bedroom as well as her closet, which was converted from a third bedroom. Her master suite is painted cream and pale pink and is full of candles. Another thing that Lala loves having in her room is preserved roses since they last so long, while her spacious closet holds all the special pieces from throughout her career, even the first designer heels she ever bought herself. In an interview, Lala shared that as soon as the pandemic hit last year in New York City, she left her apartment to her home in Los Angeles. Way back in 2010, she and Carmelo bought a Spanish-style villa in LA, so I'm gonna guess this is still the one she's living at when she's on the West Coast. I was in New York, and I just felt like it was time to get out of New York. And we came out West, and we we're just quarantining now together. Uh, Melo is a... Yeah, he's here somewhere. It's actually been smooth sailing. If this is still Lala's home in LA, what we do know about it is the former couple purchased it while they were engaged for about $2 million. It boasts 6,500 square feet of space with four beds, four baths, and perks like an infinity edge pool and cabana. All right, so I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end right here. After checking out long time, but I guess, ex-couple, Lala and Carmelo Anthony and their gorgeous properties, what did you guys think? Of their properties past and present, which is the winner? I gotta say that that Colorado mega mansion they used to live in years ago was so epic, it doesn't seem to be a competition. I mean, the guest residence itself was like a family home. And how about the master suite with all the red details? I think it was royal living at its finest. Be sure to rate Lala and Carmelo's homes down below. And please like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I love seeing you guys visit it over there and getting to know you guys better. We'll link you my latest video. It's really hard getting angles out here and I love this color of green. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!